breath. Ooh, we're recording already. Oh, hi. Hello. 
Hello. Oh, I look a mess. Oh, well. I have hat hair, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> or I should say helmet hair. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Zoom was crash looping, so this is an improvement. <laughs> There's apparently a Zoom update. I know it won't install on my machine yet. Oh, I should check that. I'm using the flashback here, so I'm getting whatever they put out there. Okay. And Bex will most likely not be here. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Bex. Hello, everybody. We'll give folks one or two minutes because we have a pretty short agenda. Don't know if anyone heard yet, but NVIDIA just open sourced their GPU drivers. Oh, nice. I just saw that. The whole thing? I have really? Heard. Wow. I have a friend who works for them and works on Swift. And he's like, they just keep throwing GPUs at us. Oh my goodness. Amy, if you don't want them, I'll take them. <laughs> Not me. It's Matt. You'd have to go to Australia to get them, probably. I but mean, you need resources. They just throw them at them. It's like, here, have a machine with all these GPUs in them. I guarantee I can put them to work here. <laughs> yeah, I discovered the default SKU they use for desktop at Facebook has 3080s in them because it was meant for people doing like VR work and they can't give people other desktop. So I ended up with that at my desk, which is way overkill for normal work. Yeah. My normal workstation, I I'd always go with the Intel driver, so I'm sticking with my purely free software stuff like some kind of grumpy person, but I'm going to have to read this very closely. Um, that is extremely exciting. Thomas, quick question before we get started. Do you want to share the agenda on screen as we go? Just so people can follow if, along there. If it makes sense, I can. No problem. Let me start with something. I know a lot of meetings too. Do we want to do that? Yeah. Or does everyone just want to follow on no. their own? I'd, I'd be tempted to follow on our own just so that if Tomas wants to do some research on something, he gets okay. to look stuff up while um, we're going. Okay. I, I, I'm quite concentrated with writing minutes uh, in the same page as, uh, as the agenda. So I don't think uh, it's a problem. I just share one tab so I don't take risks. <laughs> yeah, I tend to have seven or eight different windows open in every meeting with different research scattered everywhere, just so that I can pretend I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can't find things in my... Yeah, by the way, nice talk at Hepix. I, I, I couldn't attend, but I saw the talk afterwards. Yeah, there's a uh, slower version of it on the uh, FOSDEM page. Okay, I'll check that out. As uh, Epix gives you uh, 20 minute slots and uh, Fosdom gave me 45. And so, like, I breathe in the Fosdom one. All righty. I just figured this way, if no one had it up, we could follow along. Um, like I said, we have a pretty short agenda that we might have to, um, 
discussion on different um, topics that might take us longer than you would think. Um, does anyone have any objections to the previous meetings, the minutes? They looked good to me. Okay. And I don't believe we actually take a motion to accept them. Um, that is something we can consider doing going forward. Um, but that kind of brings us to the ongoing discussion, which is first off the virtual dojo on June 17th. I think that was, sorry, August 7th. No, it is June 17th. I'm all mixed up because I'm going to summit. Okay, so June 17th is the virtual dojo. It's a Friday. Um, Sean, have you started anything on that? Is there anything we can help you with? Yeah, so we have, there's a wiki page up. And um, I mean, I did just a couple of social media posts across the usual channels, but um, um, could certainly use more promotion. So we, the wiki page is up and the, the CFP is open. There's a link for that on the wiki page. Okay. Uh, and registration is open. It'll be on Hopin again. And again, that link is on the wiki page too. So the wiki page is probably the, the best first point. Um, so we've gotten a, a couple of submissions, but you know, okay. always want more submissions. And there's um, a couple of things that I might be, uh, I'm, I'll be trying to set up in addition to whatever submissions come in um, at the suggestions of a few people. Okay. And we'll plan on having an ask the board during that, I'm assuming. That's one of the things that I will be asked, yes, that I'll be looking into doing. So okay. I'll ask the board. I'll ask the board if they want to do an ask the board. <laughs> Any objections to anyone about us doing one? Always okay. happy to answer questions. Not always having answers, but always happy to try. Yep. I'm happy to participate as well as be around. Okay, yep, perfect. same. Happy to help. Great. I'll go check that one. All righty. Do we have any more questions at this point on the virtual dojo? All right, so in-person dojo. Um, it seemed that doing it before DevConf US was the most popular option. Um, Sean has picked August 17th. Um, and we do not have a, um, don't, don't book your travel yet if you're watching the recording of this or whoever. Uh, I, we don't yet have a confirmed space for that. Um, I'm, I'm working on that, but that is what I'm going forward with trying to plan, but it's not yet confirmed. Okay. And we also discussed having an in-person board meeting if we can come up with an agenda. So uh, have we have <clears throat> progress on that? I, I, not, I have on my to-do list to put together some stuff that we might want to do for an agenda, okay. um, but I, I would run it by the board and see, I mean, it, it's up to the board to choose what things they actually want to meet for. Um, and, and for that meeting, if, if we are to do a full day uh, board meeting, um, it sounded like going before, so like the Tuesday the 16th would be preferable. Um, but most people seem to want to get at least a day of their weekend back, basically. Um, and uh, so if we do that, um, and if we don't do a, a full day, I think it'd still be nice to do a, uh, maybe a board dinner or something, um, you know, during, during DEF CON for somewhere around there uh, without adding a day to uh, people's itinerary. Yeah, I think some kind of social event, regardless of whether we have a full agenda or not, would be valuable because I haven't met mm -hmm. most of you all in person and it'd be nice to do so. Yeah, and that's kind of you know part of the reason for having the in-person board meeting is to get folks together. Not that we necessarily would have a full day of content, um, but even a couple hours and then we went to to dinner would be a good idea just for everyone to get to meet each other and get to know each other. Um, and I, I know I've checked the arc the email archives once and couldn't get in, but maybe we can look through some old emails and see what kind of agendas might have existed in the past to help us to put together a new agenda. The only time we did a full, a full event was with contributors. It was called CentOS Interlock. I don't know if uh, people that are like newer to CentOS know, but basically 
it was all board member plus contributor that had something to say. So this is a format that worked very well. It was in Paris. It was a few years ago. So maybe it's another idea just to 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 meet a few of the of the known contributors and uh, have a discussion around few subjects. I don't know what you think, but uh, I can forward uh, the last interlock agenda. I should have that, that somewhere. Yeah, send us anything you have, because maybe if we don't have enough content for a board meeting and we find out that there are some CentOS contributors coming because we're having the dojo, you know, we can have some meetings. Yeah, but I went as a contributor at the time. It was very enriching experience to, to, to meet because I was working on diverse infrastructure project and meeting people in real life uh, was, was quite nice. So that's why I'm suggesting that. And that was a standalone event, if I remember our talks about that. Correct. But uh, if we don't have too many subjects, we could do half day interlock, half day board meeting or something like yep. that. No, that's a good idea. And then yeah. leading into the, um, the dojo itself. So we'll know more once we find out if we can get space. All right, is there any other topics? Any other discussion on the in-person dojo at this time? And as much as we don't have a whole lot of information yet. Okay. I'll come back on, on show and offer if for the traveling, if uh, there's some issue because uh, I'm not sure yet what I can do with work, but I'll try first to to, to, to get funding from, from work rather than centers. But uh, yeah, I, I may contact uh, Sean if... Uh, if it's not possible. Okay. And Thomas, I'm assuming they will let you travel as just a matter of funding. It would be easier <laughs> to, to have a mix of both if possible, but because the problem is with COVID, they cut the budget a bit, so it's always, but uh, I, I, I will ask first, so I'll come back okay. uh, when we have uh, the venue and, and everything set up. Okay. Because I know there are still companies out there that will not let people travel yet. Um, and it's not a question of funding on the, that part. It's a question of policy that they're not letting people travel yet. Okay. No, it's not the but case. We're also, okay. But we're also talking a couple months out and things could change before then. All right. You actually have the next topic, the secretary proposal. Yes. It was just that uh, basically I always invite the same guests. So I was thinking that we should add our trusted and famous guest to the Gmail invitation, if it makes sense. Yeah, I'm all for that. I kind of was one before I got on the board. Does anyone have any objections to that? Okay. Then we are good with that. So number is moving on to issues. Um, go ahead. Do we want to go? Yeah, go ahead and oh, that'll make it hard for you. Never mind. Everyone else click on the issues link. <laughs> so that Thomas can keep taking notes. Um, number 81, clarify the CentOS position on Russia, Ukraine. So, ooh, has there been more? No, okay, so there has been no comments since the last board meeting. Um, we did work on our response for about a week after the board meeting, um, giving everyone time to make any changes to our response. And um, we have had no reply from the original person, so. I feel confident that we can close this out. Does anyone object to that? Okay. We have closed that out. All right. Going on to number six, issue number 67, trusting the six by default from a CentOS project perspective, secure boot. And that's normally Brian, who I didn't see log in. Yeah, I'm here. Um, oh, okay. And, and there's a, a little bit of an update for this month. Um, so the to enable this, technically, we're um, we're actually working with the bootloader team to help us uh, find a way that we can actually enroll. Um, if you remember the the technical architecture of this, there's basically two routes of trust: one for the SIGs and one for the actual uh, stream distribution itself. Uh, and so we're finding a way, a way that we can enroll both of those certificates in the shim that we uh, end up submitting uh, to Microsoft for signing. But that's, 
that's something we're working on going with the bootloader team and that's still uh, ongoing as of this time. Okay, will you also be enrolling the uh, key in the uh, stream kernel so that I can mod probe the uh, stuff that we're getting out of the kmod sig? Um, so let's let's maybe talk about that a little bit separately because the the key that's used to um, basically to stamp the kmods is a different process from uh, that particular key. Okay. So there's a um, basically what happens there's a, a, a certificate that's embedded in the kernel spec itself and that spec is used for the uh, the kmod stamping in the kernel build itself. So we may need to uh, to figure out a situation for that because that's mostly disconnected from uh, the uh, a lot of the secure boot discussions. Okay, as it depends a bit on how you're exporting things for. Well, anyway, it's I did all this for uh, SL for OpenAFS, and so it's just yeah. on the back of my mind for because I a love my friends in the Kmod sig and b plan to cons well I'm actually currently consuming a bunch of those modules and going to consume more. Same. I'm very excited to hear progress on this. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. yeah, this is becoming really important on our side pretty soon. Um, yeah, so keep in mind, this is going to be an ongoing thing uh, for a little bit as we um, as, as we continue to, to make sure that we do the right thing in terms of protecting each of those roots of trust. But yeah, um, but yeah a little, little bit of progress, which is looking good. All righty, is there any more discussion on that one? Okay, number 79, recording historical SIG membership. Um, there's no visible action on it since we put in our response to the last, after the last board meeting that we were in favor of um, option number one that was given to us. So this will remain open and ongoing. Who's, um, uh, who is that on to do the work on that? Is there someone uh, I should be prodding or is there something I should be doing? Uh, the InfraSig has the uh, overall ticket. Oh, yeah, I see, okay. Yeah, There's a, uh, 53. Yeah. And that's where we went, went ahead and put our response that we were all for number one in there so that they would see it versus in our issue. I got you. Okay, thank you. Kind of using that one as the master. That way they see it. Um, yeah. Okay. Number 78, clarify CentOS errata policy. This one was mine. Um, I spent some time going over the document earlier before the meeting. Uh, I think I agree with Josh in that as it is, this isn't terribly useful. What I think would probably be useful is use these as like a draft and make and try to write like a blog post for like the Santos blog on like how updates work in general, also including the information that's here that's mostly our own CVs, but try to cover in general how the update flow works between like stream and rail um, and potentially how the rebuilds also play into that. Uh, I can try drafting something, but I don't know if I'm the best person to do that because I suspect I'm missing a lot of how this actually works. Uh, so there might be value from like someone else to start drafting these and like we can collaborate on. Um, I'm open to whatever folks want to do here, uh, but I do think we should try to put something out eventually because this is a frequent area of confusion. Yeah, if you wanted to do the first go round of it just to get it started, then perhaps Josh and Brian could add into it and add more detail or clarify anything because they have the most information on it, I think. All right, so yeah, I'll, try, okay. I'll try and morph these into something more generic on updates in general, and then we can take it from there. Yeah, uh, happy to participate. And I know Brian has a lot of information here that we can lean on to, so that'll be good. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, because sometimes you just need to start on something and then someone else will get keyed off of it and then they, they go, oh yeah, that's what we need and they'll add the information that maybe you didn't have. Yep. It's always good to have group writing. All right, our open issues 
If there's nothing else on that is number 71 using, yeah, using the new brand word mark typeface with the old logo as a transitional measure. And as far as I know, there is no action on that. Um, Sean, do we have any update on anything with the new logo? I mean, I, I know we won't have it for the virtual, but any chance we would be able to have some swag at the first live dojo? I would love that, but I don't have an update. <laughs> I, I want it to be done. Like I want to do a revamp on the web presence with it and everything and, and do new physical swag for a first in-person thing and not order, you know, brand new swag with um, the old stuff. An outgoing logo. Yeah. So yes. Um, yes, that I, I, I agree. And I want that and I will push for it, but I don't have an update yet right now. All right, if there's anything I can help with, let me know. If we're getting swag made, can we potentially get that done in time for scale? When is scale? Like end July. of July. End of July. We're, we're kind of hoping for August, but that's not too much sooner if we get the permission. Yeah, if, if I mean, if we can actually get it um, for the full logo. I mean, this the issue that's on the, the open issue here is just using the typeface without changing the logo. No, uh, but I feel like we should just, you know, get the logo change finished. Um, yeah, what are we still waiting on that? Somebody just has to like start importing the resources. Like we got the board approval happened like two years ago. I believe uh, the trademark folks uh, have to actually sign off on it from the Red Hat side. They told us to start using it. Okay. Anyway, so like the only reason things got hung up was because um, Elaine didn't like how it looked in one of the things because of some rendering issue that he went back and adjusted the um, some details in the in the logo icon, but they were they were I think they were the things you pointed out about the sharp edges or whatever, uh, and that was it. And then all of it just stopped. Okay, so maybe we should have a small little meeting. Anyone who wants to participate with Elaine and try to get this resolved and get going with it. If we've already got the permission, you know, let's get these little things resolved so we can start, you know, being proud of being sent to us again. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good update. We have something to move forward with that. I'm happy. All right. Number 45, I think is next. Yeah, sent to us variant artifacts. Or did we close this one out? No, oh, I think I closed that one. Oh, perfect. It was resolved. Uh, that was just waiting that PR to get merged and the PR was merged. So that was done. Sweet. So we will get that off our list. So issues on hold. Number three, getting official CentOS images into Azure. Yeah, this is still on hold for uh, for this time around. What's still the holdup there, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, this is um, this is mostly around uh, just some legal requirements and policies that we have internal to Red Hat. And considering this is two years old, does the fact that we're now stream affect anything? Uh, no, it doesn't really affect anything in terms of like there's no difference from uh, there's no difference in the ask that we take to and there's no difference in the technology technical side of it right yeah okay. that, that doesn't make any sorts of um uh, that doesn't change anything uh in, in terms of our stance uh legally all righty so next on the agenda is number four which we kind of just discussed with number 71. Um, and it sounds like we're gonna have a small meeting and move forward. So we will work on number 71 slash number four together. Um, so moving on to number 27, providing official AMIs in Amazon China regions. Does anyone have an update on that one? 
It's another two-year-old one. Yeah, I, I actually haven't heard from David um, about this. And we can, we can ping him one more time this month and uh, see if there's something that we can get unblocked there. Okay. I know I see him on the Fedora channels. And, and he actually was interested in our cloud SIG at one point. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can get him involved in that and added another aspect to the cloud SIG because right now it's deployment packages and it would be nice to have some of the cloud users in there as well. All right, so number 80 is next, the CentOS Stream 9 in WSL ticket, which might be closed. I'm not seeing it on the list. We 80, oh, that's why I said 90. If it's related to WSL2, um, it's not closed and there's no progress. Yeah. For similar it, reasons as the Azure ones. Yep, yep. I was thinking it was 90 and I didn't see a 90 on the list. 80 is there. Last comment was by True. Um, same story as having sent to us on WSL. Okay, so that's held up as well. So those will remain in issues on hold, but hopefully we'll at least get number four moving. Um, Sean, you're up next. You didn't add anything to the agenda besides what we already talked about as far as the dojos. Do you have anything else? No, my main thing is the dojos and that was on the main agenda. Um, uh, I've, I've brought up the... Um, uh, the RHEL uh, docs being upstreamed uh, to CentOS before, uh, and we have those preview builds. And um, I, I it, am hoping that the team can get those actually uh, basically as, as production builds uh, before the next one of these meetings. Um, so that'll be a you know, pretty substantial amount of CentOS documentation uh, that would be up. That would be great. And once yeah. those are out, we should totally do a blog post or something visible yeah. to, to advertise that those are out because that that's something I'm personally really looking forward to having. And I think oh, yeah. it's valuable for the community in general because it's something that's useful also not just to stream, but to all the reveals and everybody else. Yeah. And if we don't quite get it for the next meeting, it might be a nice thing to announce at the dojo as well. Mm, yeah, we have a backup, you know, and that gives us another week, week and a half. And Would I the just... docs team be interested in doing a talk at Dojo on like <laughs> how this works, how to contribute to the docs or something like that? Maybe. I think that'd oh. be a great talk. Yeah, for the for the that'd virtual one, I think because you know most of the people doing this work are um, are in Brno, so uh, I don't I I don't know that they'd be able to come out for the in person, but a virtual. Yeah, why the heck not? I'll reach out to them, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Um, the, the challenges of technical writing are not explained often enough. Um, and it's such a great way for people to get involved in a new community. Because you're working through maybe installing your, you know, the software and you run into issues and, you know, that's a great place for you to make the correction, you know, so. That'll be great to have the doc team at the virtual dojo. Sean, you have anything else? Nothing else. Okay, we have no SIG reports. Any other business? All right. Um, then meet, uh, the meeting for the, the agenda for the next meeting link is already created as Thomas talked about in the previous meeting. So you can start adding agenda items there. I just happen to look to see when the next meeting is. I will be in Berlin at the Open Infra Summit. So I do not know if I will be in attendance. So Pat, if you want to plan on leading next meeting. Yep. So it'll be a slight adventure, but it will definitely be uh, fun. I have a few things scheduled that day as well, but this is important and I can move them. OK, I just don't know where I'm going to be time zone wise. Yeah. Because I, I have a board event there that evening, which I think will be during our this board meeting. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be intriguing timing. But 
uh, hopefully you have fun with the adventure. Yep. I'm excited to see the community again. All right. So that is, if we have no other business, that is our meeting for the month of May. And Sean, if you'll send out the reminder for the office hours. I will do that. Because uh, I know I had the wrong time last time. Um, so if anyone can uh, attend the office hours, that's always great. And that's it for our May meeting. Thank you everyone for attending and participating. Thank you. Take care. Take Thanks care. everyone. Bye. Bye everyone. Thanks, Bye. thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.